the Fire and Emergency Services Technology Program at SBSCC provides training, experience, and certifications. This is a day in the life of a student. The day starts off like any other fire department would. Members will grab a cup of coffee and head out to the apparatus bay to start rig checks. Rig checks is a way to making sure that all apparatus have the required equipment and going through every single compartment with a list. This includes the engine, the tender, and the aid card. And during the required seasons, also the brush truck. After that, we'll pull the apparatus out and get ready for pump checks. Second year firefighter France is the driver for today's shift. The reason I check my pump in the morning is I want to ensure that it's ready at a fire scene. Typically, second years will be the drivers of the engines due to their certification level over the first years. After pump checks, usually the apparatus check of the day will be done and we'll move on to whatever is next. If the rig needs it, then the students will leave it out and pull out the wash bucket and the hose and wash it in order to maintain a professional appearance like any fire department would. After rig checks are all done and the apparatus is clean and ready to respond on calls, typically the shift will move on to the next part of the day, which is breakfast. After breakfast is done, typically we'll move on and the students will start their training for the day. The career firefighters will come up with whatever the plan is and the students will head down to the drill ground with their bunker gear and get ready for a drill. Lieutenant Brandon Hahn is a large proponent of training early in the morning. I like to take the crew out early in the morning so that we get a chance to warm up for the day and also to test out our equipment. There's some times that we find uh, equipment out of service and we're able to replace it and fix it then rather than on the scene. Training doesn't always include hose pulling or ladder throwing or firefighting activities even at all. Sometimes the students will work on emergency medical skills or different kinds of hazard responses. With training done, the students will move on to the weekly duties part of the day. Each day changes, whether that's trimming the bushes or mowing the lawn or be washing the apparatus bay floor. When the day winds down, typically they'll have dinner and get whatever the daily duties need to be done. After that, kick back and relax and study whatever needs to be studied and get ready in case any more calls come out. Students are required to work a one on, two off shift schedule like any other career firefighter with the exception that they only are required to work the front 12 hours of each shift. The remainder of the 24-hour shift is an optional where they carry on as volunteers.